Today we're talking all about when and when itis, and I've got three secrets about never having to wait for something to happen before you feel confident and fabulous ever again. Okay, let's deal with when itis first. One of the biggest beliefs squashing your confidence is something I call when itis. And that is when something happens, I will feel confident, but it just doesn't work. Imagine going to see a surgeon and saying, um, then you need an operation and saying, hey, do you feel confident that you could do this operation? And they say, no, no, not at all. But after I've finished, I'm sure I'll feel confident then. You would run in the opposite direction. You could choose to feel confident before something has happened. Another example, Olympic athletes, an athlete of any kind, they have to find the ability to create confidence that they can win the, win the race before the race has actually happened. Imagine if you were a coach and you said to your athlete training with you, okay, we're going to the Olympics, you know, you can feel confident. Let's feel confident the race is going to go really well. And the athlete says, well, I have no idea if the race is going to go really well. I only know after it's happened and then I'll feel confident. It just doesn't work that way. One of the great things about understanding confidence is that once you realize you can choose to feel confident without a reaction, your life completely changes. But why do we feel this way? Why do we think that we have to wait for something to happen before we feel confident, happy, successful, fabulous, all of these? I think it's because many people feel as though once a big event has happened, and it could be um, finding your life partner, buying a house, getting a dream job, moving out of home, all of these things, they think they will feel completely differently after an event has happened. But it doesn't work like that. There's a beautiful saying, um, Confucius, I think, said, wherever you go, there you are. And there are books and books, if you're into autobiographies or biographies like me, and you read the biography of a, a famous actress, athlete, politician, celebrity, you name it. They'll talk about something amazing happening like winning an Oscar or being elected and they still felt like the same person and it was a huge letdown. And in fact, I write about it in my book, Feeling Forwards, but there's a lot of documented stories, sadly, about Olympians sliding into depression when they're actually standing on the podium because they thought that when they won their medal, they would feel like an incredibly magical, confident person. And it doesn't happen because we can choose to feel fabulous at any time. It's a choice, not a reaction. Now there's one final aspect to when that is, have you ever noticed, have you ever had a friend who is waiting for when to happen? And this is a similar example. Maybe they're waiting to lose 10 pounds or get a dream job or whatever. And they say, well, when? this event has happened, then I will be able to. But the challenge with that is that sometimes what you imagined you wanted doesn't happen. It's not a matter of the big event happening and then thinking that, oh, I'm still the same person like I just spoke about previously. But it's what if that event doesn't happen? What if for some reason you don't meet your dream partner when you're in your 20s? Maybe you meet them when you're in your 40s. But Imagine putting your life on hold because you're waiting for that when to happen. Well, when I find my dream partner, I can go traveling. Or when I find my dream partner, I can buy my dream house. Sometimes when doesn't work out the way we thought it will, and certainly not in the time frame. You know that great saying, God laughs while we make plans. Life is a funny thing. It's not a straight line, it's full of curves. And when can be the biggest myth and distraction that can hold you back. So there is no time like the present. And I know you've heard that over and over again, or as I prefer to put it more practically, today is the past of your future. Today, every single decision you make today is gonna to create your future five, 10, 15 years from now. And in my reinvention coaching, whatever part of your life you want to, or person, my, my client wants to reinvent, Sometimes they struggle and they say, well, oh, I can't do that because I have to wait for this to happen. Or I can't reinvent my health right now because I've got a big presentation and I don't want to change anything before then. 
Don't let when hold you back. Don't be so squashed by whenitis that the opportunity that you hadn't thought about, that maybe you don't even recognize as being fabulous, quietly slips you by because you're waiting for when something else happens. Any questions about whenitis, please reach out and I will speak to you next time.